This is the A5004, looking towards Whaley Bridge, which is about a kilometre north of here. Look as pit sight is on my left. This is all a bit unexpected. The road's quite busy and there's really no difficulty in getting access. I'm going to start by walking south down the length of the site from here. This is towards the widest end and in the upstream direction of the river. That's the river Goit down there. Drop to the river's about 20 metres. So I expected the site to be bare and derelict. Hmm, wonder what these leaves conceal. The river looks clean from up here. Yeah, I'll just scrape away leaf covers, see what's underneath. The soil colour is quite thin. The soil is nice, healthy brown colour. You can see worms. Roots are also quite deep. Why are these white bits in it? This looks like building rubble. Just approaching the widest part of the site now. It must be about 50 metres wide here. Really must measure up the site plans at some point. Hey, what's this? This must be the shaft that the newspaper said was opened by Walker. He must have dug this hole to reach the tunnel below. Water be anything to do with the mine. The river still looks clean from up here. Land's flat in places but hummocky in others. The vegetation looks lush and green. More building debris. And this grey black surface looks like coal waste. And yet more debris. Looks like people are making a fire here. Oh, look at that! It's one of the remains of the trucks used to carry coal out of the mine. Guess these trucks ran in the tunnel below. These burst surfaces look far too loose and steep and rubbly to spot vegetation. No wonder this stuff collapsed on poor old Walker. Vegetation really does look very healthy. So here are some of the pipes that I saw on the plans. More dumped waste. This iron ring must have been sunk into the ground to contain a fire. And this is finely broken shale. Hmm. 
All this larger stuff is fire clay brick rubble. This big cast iron pipe runs along the lower edge of the site. The base of the steep slope and seems to be continuous. Oh yeah, here's the same pipe crossing the river on the upstream weir. The river really does look clean at this point, so I am upstream with that discharge. This also looks like finely broken shale. Though it's graded as good quality by an environment agency, this is this is some sort of orange deposit. What on earth's going on here? This stuff is easily disturbed and washed into the river. Hurt the environment agency don't see me doing this. Here's another bear patch. Be a good idea to take a look at this. like clinker. This is just loose rubble, coarse ash and more clinker. Now this looks a bit odd. It's a loose block from the white layer. It's quite hard. Better check this out. Looks like a bin bag full of garden waste or whatever. And this stuff around it is very fine. Oh, here's another stream. And it turns orange at the end. <laughs> 